Paquin, and I listen to Epizodic of the Blowhole. I lived in this town this my whole life. I'll listen to it. Nobody's gonna tell me that I can't listen to Epizodic of the Blowhole. Fuck you, Bill. There's no context to that lead in except for the people who were watching on the live stream. That's, That's why you gotta watch did, the live yeah. stream. Yeah, we did a yeah. we did a whole and, uh, we did a, a and, tight uh, ten on, uh, really on True Blood. Yeah. Everyone tune into True Blood on HBO every oh my su- God. every Sunday night. <laughs> uh, it's, it's over. It's still on 2014 TV. is when it ended. Yeah. So well, did it, it end in 2014? Mm-hmm. Wow, oh. I didn't even realize it seven, went on that seven long. Seven seasons. Because I quit watching in 2010, I think. That's probably... Uh, you, have true blood cla- you have true blood glasses in your house. I don't. I married into them. <laughs> All right? <laughs> I married oh, into the true blood glasses. Oh, well, well, you know what? She can do whatever the fuck she wants. I, I uh, yeah, my oh, yeah, really come, stop fucking with the mic, Tim. Yeah. Oh, Jesus! For coming from you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I don't. I haven't married yet, but my fiance has a medieval times uh, wine glass. It's like. A bottle of wine. Well, Man, that's, that's cool. That's just cool. Yeah. Is that that's, cool? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's not cool. like t- true blood gay. No, because medieval times, uh, people that who go point. to medieval times, they know what they're getting into. The actors who are part of medieval times, they know that it's a little cheesy, a little hokey. You're there for something okay. very specific. Yeah. True Blood was trying to be like, the, this is the new... True Blood was trying to be... Twilight. Tr- no, they were trying to be the new True. Oz of HBO, because Oz was like the leading show on HBO. They didn't and then anticipate they did. Game of Thrones coming along and cutting their head off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it was kind of over when... Yeah, it was. Yeah. They were milking it big yeah. time. Uh, vampires was a fad that everyone big time. Gave, then it moved to zombies, to, and zombies. That's what happened. Yeah. By the way, zombies were also in True Blood. Yeah. Uh, where and will, now, and now Grand comes back and saves the day? And the now, since, an episode. since Sweet Jeez. Joe is over uh, Walking Dead, I, I'm not fucking I'm watching sure, it anymore. I'm sure that show will be over soon. <laughs> Now, yeah. now Sweet they, Joe's out. It's, I'm pretty sure trend. my father was the only thing keeping Walking Dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're right. Him about and his that, DVR. So. Oh, fuck this nigga. Rick is a, it's an explosion no. and feed the body. So I would whatever. love to get Joe's take on True Blood. I would love for him to watch that show mm-hmm. and have a and, and I'll talk. You know, stop. We're in, the, <laughs> we're in the middle of what you do. What you do in the shadows on FX. It's oh, fucking, I watched it. It's, it's funny. Great. Oh, yeah. yeah, it is. The movie was great too. He called me the other day just to tell me that. Uh, Did he see the movie? Really funny. No. Oh man, Joe, you got to watch the movie, man. That's what it's based off of. It's hilarious. I, I didn't know there was a movie. But what we did. The what show, we do in the, the shadows. Show's yeah. funny. It's from the guy who. Uh, what Flight the, of the some, Concords, yeah, Jermaine uh, I saw his Clements. name on yeah. the uh, credits uh, there. Wacky, yeah, so he's in the movie. Keys. I love it's, my, it's, my, it's, Hold on, hold on. It's the funniest, one of the funniest parts of that movie. <sighs> he's So it's like a, uh, it's like an office. It's like a like documentary the, It's like The Office, except it's we with nap. vampires. And, um... And they, Jermaine Clement is one of the vampires, and the camera comes Here's in, and he's like, leave me to do my dark bidding. And he's <laughs> like, what are you bidding on? And he's like, a, a table on eBay. And he's like, <laughs> well, I, re- I really like when they're trying to get into a bar, and the bouncer's outside, and they're trying to get into the bar, and yeah. he goes, you have to invite us in. He goes, oh, yeah, no, come on, you're allowed to go in. No, you have to invite us in. <laughs> yeah, because they're vampires. And they can't get into the bar. I love the, uh, my favorite joke from the first two episodes is that, that one. One guy that's a psychic vampire, and all he basically does is goes and just bores everybody. <laughs> oh, I haven't drains seen, their uh, energy. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen the TV show yet because I don't have cable and I don't have FX. Dude, so. um, man, you got <laughs> no reason. You got to stick to a story, Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. So anyway, I, Mark, True Blood Mark sucked. Smallett over tr- here. Tr- oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> True Blood sucked. Uh, vampires are done. <laughs> Zombies are on their way out. Uh, what's the new? What's the new monster? What's ghouls. The, uh, super, ghouls. I, I'll tell you what the new... Ghouls? G- yeah. <laughs> what? I'll tell you what the new TV gimmick is right now. Maybe you guys will agree with me. Is superhero shows. This has been a gimmick and for like 20 no, years. No, 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 no. Now it's like the teen angsty superhero. Yeah, oh. CW re- redid their shit. They're doing Riverdale, which is the Archie comics, except it's dark and brooding. Oh, yeah. I'm it's, Veronica. it's the most homoerotic show I've I'm, ever watched. I'm, yeah. I'm Veronica, oh, really? but I, I swear to God. <laughs> there was a whole episode where there's a bad guy, and they're like, the kids are trying to fight against a bad guy, so they all strip shirtless into a group. In and, Riverdale? Into a bathroom, and they're, they're all taping, and what? they're like, Black Hood, we're going to come for you. What? And they're all shirtless. In, in Riverdale? Yeah. yeah. What? I yeah. what? 
That's weird. Is the, are they doing God. crossover? You know how NBC. I swear to God. You know how they do the crossovers really, with the really Chicago weird. Fire, it's Chicago really Men? Gay. They do crossovers right. with that. Are they doing that with Riverdale and the superhero shows where like Supergirl is part of the Riverdale universe now and, or something? Because uh, they're all so. on CW Sup- doing Supergirl the Supergirl fucked so, Jarhead. And, and Dr- Jughead. Andrea, Small, Smallville. <laughs> Andrea Sup- loves Riverdale cheesy and shows. And right now it's. The X Men, it's like young X Men, like uh, Legion or yeah, no. but this hat no, what's it called? For X Class or I, something? Agents of Marvel. Maybe. I don't watch any I, of that shit. I don't know. Uh, I don't either. I was watching that one for a little while, but but yeah, it, but, but, but Mark, CW is the one that that kicked this off because Smallville was the first one. That's right. You know. That's but right. Mark, this the main well, actor Lois and Clark was the original no. way back. The main day. actor oh, is Terry Bill. Hatcher. Is Bill God the damn vampire from show. True Blood? Real in this like CW superhero kids show? Yeah, yeah. I d- he says Jessica too, like Jessica. Where were we Jessica. Jessica. <laughs> Suki. Right. Suki. Wrong TV show, Bill. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Jessica. Wait, oh, I'm out in the I'm out in the light. I have to go in my cot. Wrong TV show. You will have a <laughs> nude sex scene with me. <laughs> wow. This I'm is a, the I'm CW. Underage. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, HBO uh, doesn't let me on television. I am contractually obligated to have a sex scene with you. I got, I kind of got into that show. I won't give you hep V. I kind of got into that show Arrow for a while, but every show, every episode was just like the same shit over and over. Does he shoot people with an arrow? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) exactly. Does he pull off crazy marksmanship marksmanship shots? No, it was... One episode is about Newton's law. He's shooting arrows with apples off of heads. No, it was super formulaic in that he would almost lose. Yes. Oh, yeah. And pull it off. You know what that is? I watched it, too. I watched the first... Yeah, you know what that is? You know what that's based off of? The fucking Power Rangers, because that's a Power Rangers episode. Well, they right would always there. have to power up. Oh. Yeah. yeah, but they'd get the shit kicked out of them, and yeah. then they'd be then like, they'd be like blah, 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 That's all based on Hulk Hogan hulking oh, up. Hold on. Oh, yeah. You don't go, go, Power Rangers. Andrea and I were bored over the weekend, so we watched the new Aquaman movie. Was it and, good? And uh, it, of course, it's, it's good. Hold on, hold on. When Dolph Lundgren is on uh, is on screen, he's awesome in the movie. It's <laughs> yeah. good in a. This is a dumb superhero movie. I'm just gonna enjoy it. You know what I mean? But every single problem he gets himself into, water's always the solution. You know what I mean? So it's like, how are we gonna get out of this? Oh, there's some water. We'll we'll manipulate the water to get out of this sticky situation. It's like, oh, okay. Uh, I'll just call some dolphins on my shell phone. He actually. <laughs> he only gets that power at the end of the movie, Tim. Get it? Because it sounds like a cell phone. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, totally I spoiled, got it. I spoiled, <laughs> totally got it. I spoiled the movie. Aquaman talks to fish at the end uh, of the movie. No, who who to thunk? Oh, God, who to sunk? I mean, thunk. Uh, I'm I'm over I'm over uh, I'm over but, Jason Momoa too. Yeah, by Jason the way, Momo- he, Jason Momoa also dad, looks good dude, in the movie. The, though. Guy, the guy has has milked an entire career off being in one season of Game Carl, of Thrones. Carl Drago. He was also in he was also in the Sylvester Stallone uh, very underrated movie Bullet to the Head. Oh yeah, good uh, uh, good Stallone flick. Good uh, Stallone I don't flick. Look at you, you do it. I love. What was that? Stallone. Sly. Stallone, yeah. Sly. What'd you say? Uh, 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 <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, good point, Sly. Thanks. Thanks for weighing in. I like to ride my bike. <laughs> I just love how I love how Stallone has just gone balls out in his later years, where he's not even trying to be like coy with his movies or anything like that. He said he like, did a movie called Bullet to the Head. He said Bullet three, to the Head. Three he's just directors, trying to kill himself. Now. Three directors ever have been like Sly. You got to enunciate. And he's like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, can't do it. Okay, so, I'm not so gonna then do it. He just directed it. his yeah. own films, and and uh, yeah, don't have to worry about and that. people oh, love it. Oh, the steroids gave me a stroke. I never saw the second uh, escape plan or whatever it was. uh, Stallone's one of those guys who, like... like, Spoiler alert, they escape from prison. You're like, (laughs) I'm not sure if he's a genius or an idiot, but he's got so much money. So much. And some of these movies were actually... Cliffhanger, fucking incredible film. uh, Rocky Rocky films are great. Rocky films are great. All the Rockies are great. He wrote them. was the... Yeah, I know. Not all of them are great. Uh, no, Rocky the Five, last, the last, Tommy like, well, Gunn. No, I mean, Rocky you know. Four was great. Rocky One and Two are great. Rocky Three is my favorite. Really? Oh yeah, Clubber Lang. I'm gonna kill you, Balboa. 
I'm gonna kill you. Oh <laughs> man, I I, it. I'd like to see a Rocky it's movie. Stuff. That is a great movie because it Rocky three. That's when Clubber like Mick dies. Because Clubber Lang, after the Clubber Lang fight, so Mick dies in Rocky Three. Rocky's yeah. got a chip on his shoulder. On, Rock. right. Eye of the Tiger was introduced in Rocky right. Three. That song came from there. And True. then Rocky also teams up with Apollo, and Apollo's training him. Yeah. I mean, that's and a good a robot. That's a, yeah, that's a great. Is that, a, that's Rocky Three, right? With the robot. Uh, no, that that's like Rocky Five, man. <laughs> no, the four. Robot. It's four. I forgot how stupid it is, that it is, was. It is four because that's when he was rich. Rocky they, they Five had, is when he's poor had, again. They had uh, Rosie the maid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you hear the new Ro- Rockies coming out? It's where he realized, like a bunch of it, no. Rockies. It's where he realizes that boxing's no longer popular at all, <laughs> and he goes on Joe Rogan's podcast and has to convert to MMA. Uh, Joe, 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 gotta tell you, uh, making a new movie, uh, taking, so. it's, about, it's, taking it, up Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's entirely yeah. possible. I mean, chimps used to run the planet. It's and, called Rocky know. Seventy Seven. Hey, I'm uh, just, uh, <laughs> using my age hey, instead hey, of being sequential. Hey, Jamie, look this up. But Sly, have you ever tried DMT? <laughs> <laughs> No, what's that? What's the, what, do Dimet- you, dimethyltryptamine, man. Do you try it? It's, it's uh, what's it? What's it sensory, do? Huh? You, know, like, you ever do is sensory, it good for sensory deprivation? It's great. I have one in my house. <laughs> oh, bro, I got a float tank. Yeah, I've never talked. Never talked about it once. I can't deprive myself of any more senses. I'm, all, I'm already down to two. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, look the uh, the Creed two. I went and saw that. Good movie. Very good. I, 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 know, like I have no movies. desire to see him anymore. It's good. That you're you I really don't. are missing out. They're good movies. Good hey, stuff. Uh, this is a good point. We need to talk to our fans. Um, hey, we're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. Yeah, you guys need to go check us out. Uh, we got a lot of social media things happening. We live stream every Thursday. We live stream every Thursday. We need some likes, shares, and subscribes wherever you listen to so uh, to the podcast. Subscribe. Uh, you need to tell a friend. We're dropping we, Swifty memes. Isn't that a Rick and Morty? Yeah, thing? Swift. Getting we're yeah. getting Swifty. We've got yeah. Some okay. Hot. hot Cake memes coming at you. Um, you need to pay attention to us. Just, just so you know what's going on. We got some in, good um, conversation happening yeah. before. I'll, I'll we, shoot yeah. everyone straight. The Green Man suit is a gimmick. We are desperate for likes and shares. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I do like seeing Actually, Nick in the Green Man Nick, suit. Nick got yeah. that just for himself. And I did. no one like asked me to do that. that. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> asked. Me. I just sort of showed up. That's true. I just sort of showed up one you day. You did with, just kind of. This up is what now. happens when you've reached all your life goals and you have expendable income. At that point, you're just like, like "Fuck it, I'll get a green this man is $24? suit." Twenty four dollars. I can. Do so that. this is the canary in the coal mine for my, how my life is going. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, yeah. That I, I only want part of you to be seen. <laughs> just <laughs> look. look <laughs> the, the initial uh, thought is that man, that guy. Uh, I'm just a shingled mouth. That guy's life must suck, and then you start. Really thinking about it, go, oh, he's got 24 bucks kicking around. Yeah. <laughs> 24 are going bucks good. he can just blow on a good First time. First off, motherfucker, it was $19.99. Wow. Oh, wow. Right. Well, now shipping. I'm less Prime impressed. shipping, bitch. Oh, free. Free two day shipping. Less Perfect. impressed now. Also, this is like a fetish thing. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I found out like way late that. Like I'm like, oh wow, there's a lot of colors and patterns. Yeah, I wondered why there was it, a butt flap on review- your green oh. man suit. <laughs> no, there's review- there's reviews like, yeah, me and my wife really enjoy this. And Whoa, like, oh, okay. What Did, was it really? I swear to God, go look. So on you can green do, man. Not yeah. Do so want me to screenshot some reviews? The, the, no. the yeah. suit, the suit <laughs> makes you sleek enough to just slide into a fat woman's vagina. <laughs> Head, head, head first. Just, <laughs> that's true. Exactly. Uh, no, a green woman's vagina. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't even notice. Yeah. He has become one. Uh, <laughs> me, and, me and Tim's Aunt Sue have been having a good time. Oh, come on. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. She watches this sometimes. <laughs> and she's a sweet lady. I hear, uh, I hear she the, has all sorts of VD. I was going to say, <laughs> I was gonna say because of the, the blood sugar, but, you know... Uh, <laughs> She seems like a woman yeah. who has a sense of humor. She has uh. he- she has Hep V. Oh, oh. Yeah. Jessica! No, she's very <laughs> she, she's a very Sue funny lady. <laughs> she, she's a, Nick. Nick, you're right. She's a very funny lady. Upon meeting Kirsten, the mother of my child, my fiance. Uh, she asked her if she had any VD. <laughs> That's the, why I bring it up. I'm yeah. sorry. The yeah. family uh, needs to know about it. We need to put yeah. it on uh, uh, on our ancestry.com. She asked if she had any mental illness in her family because that can get passed down to your kids. Oh, my God. I was like, holy shit. 
Yeah, as she was a prime example of it, asking those questions Man, right there. My family is fucked up. I just found this out recently oh, no. when my mom came. That your family's fucked up? No, 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 no. I knew that. But I found <laughs> this next thing I'm going to say out okay. recently. And uh, my mom was here visiting, and she told me that, like, you know, for the longest time, your brothers and sisters were, uh, oh, I guess in her voice, you know, for the longest time, there we go. Your, your brothers and sisters were asking me if you were gay. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? I, don't know. I was like, what are you talking about? Like, you know, yeah, you're... <laughs> they thought you were gay. I was like, why? Wait, why were they asking your, your mom's mother? kind of a dick? <laughs> <laughs> just, just kind of in like a mom kind of way. Dude, not even like, offended. Uh, I, but I was why like, was your mo- wait, why were they uh, asking your mom? Why were they just asking you? I because they're pussies. Yeah. I guess oh, I don't know. And, and, what, and what, Tim what? stayed away from those types of things. And, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, it was like, I was like <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I didn't. What <laughs> signals were they getting? Well, they were giving them nothing. a hard time. I, 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 <laughs> I think it's because I'm a male nurse. First of all, it's a chick's job, and I didn't really. I don't really. Yeah, but you were slaying pussy. But they don't know that. They don't know that. Look, Tim I, was humping his way through every department. <laughs> I, I, you laugh, but uh, yeah. no, I know. I'm envious. I picked the yeah, wrong career. Uh, Jesus no, Christ! But, but but I don't I don't really talk to them about anything like sorry of substance. Like, I don't talk to my... I, I like my brothers and sisters. They're just in Massachusetts, and I'm here. They're just so flat we, earthers. Yeah, yeah. So, so in one of them, the flat <laughs> earther. They, and, uh, so I don't really talk to them about this stuff. So uh, Tim decided to skip hey, the man, infectious diseases unit, they're, though. They're, they're thinking to themselves, Tim never, like, brings some girls. I'm like, yeah, I come home once every two years. I'm not going to, like, do right. that. Right. You know, so, like... Uh, I don't know. I guess they, just, they thought I was gay or something, and um, <laughs> I'm like, that's fine, I guess. But uh, I'm clearly not. I don't know. No. Right? Yeah. Right, uh, you're, you're you like could the, still be holding out. Tim's like the straightest sure. guy I know, and that's my thing. Is like I'm. I, I really well, think yeah, I'm, <laughs> I really think Tyler, I'm like you a, sit there and you balked at the look, comment Nick made, but you have two buttons undone on your shirt and a man bun right now. Look, and then you what balked is, at what Nick is more going. Manly? What look, is more manly? Let me, let me okay. defend. Let me defend Tyler. Tyler I, I, I take it back. I look, take it back. No, I'm going to defend. Tim is in the top three. I'm going to defend Tyler here because it takes a certain amount of um, like. He is stumbling into an insult. I'm, no, I'm trying to find my words. You know, you're like kind of a bitch, but not really. No, <laughs> Tyler is so secure in his straight heterosexual masculinity that he can do this. He can pop his chest hairs. <laughs> he can do this. And, and, <laughs> yeah, he can do this right here. Tyler, t- yeah. Just like, just like a, I can jack it to tranny porn, and I know I'm straight. Oh. It's fine <laughs> if I want to. Which I don't. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. All right. Fair well, enough. Well, that seems like a good time to segue into... I'm glad that you guys are in his top three, though. I, I know that yeah. the turquoise kind of throws people off with me. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, that, that's super straight, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? Because to me, it's like you don't give a fuck about what the guys think. Exactly. Yeah. yeah you're, you're I'm you're secure the, in the, my turquoise you're the culture. You're top person I know who wears turquoise. Yeah. No, I have to be. <laughs> who else wears turquoise? Uh, I I saw some I'm gonna have today. To check my and list I thought about buying you some. Then. I'm King Turk. I'm living it. Living it <laughs> large. Can I, can I Turquoise be, can culture. I be JD? Turk Master Five Thousand. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, go it's, ahead it's and Wednesday. Uh, oh, hold on, Mark, real quick. I need what? I need a little help here. All right, it's Ooh. Wednesday, so it's time for Walk, Walk on, on the, the wild, wild Side with Tyler. Wow, nice. Um, this one actually is going to hit home for a couple of you who live in Saline County, like me. Uh huh. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I, yeah. Um, a black bear was found. African American bear. In <laughs> <laughs> uh, black bear was found this past weekend in Saline County in Hurricane Lake Estates. Really? Benton. That's just a couple miles away. That's right. Hurricane Lake. <laughs> That's and that is if you're sounds watching, like a bad Van Halen song. <laughs> if you're watching the live stream, our background is a picture of that said bear shitting on my head. In <laughs> someone's backyard in town. Obviously, you can see that there's a house and a fence and the cars. That's and the same bear. It made That's wide. The bear. It made it. It made news. It scared upwards of three cats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah. yeah. So this is a, a young male black bear just waking up from his little uh, wintry hibernation. <laughs> Did they say where it came from or like? Because well, another bear. The woods, Mark. <laughs> oh yeah. His madre. 
Okay. Um, no. Uh, so yeah. So probably from the national forest. Uh, yeah. Are, I mean, they're they're that direction generally. Speaking, yeah. Yeah. Uh, west west of uh, Saline County. Um. But uh, yeah, they get pushed out in the spring. Their mom, mama kind of pushes them out of the territory, and they have to kind of find go find their own way. Um. So he probably came over here, got in someone's backyard. Um. Game and fish got him and took him back to the national forest. Hopefully, in an area where he won't get in any trouble. But look, look here's the thing. They're, I know that doing, bears. I know that bears, bears are in. Now? Uh, huh? Game Why of are you guys talking over each other? They're doing bears. They do all that shit. Who's doing it? Game, game, fish, and bears. Game, bear is game. Oh, game, is yeah. Wildlife. Was that. Wildlife. Okay. Right. I know that bears exist in Arkansas, but it's just like I didn't Big realize time. that it was. Yeah, I didn't realize that it was this close to Saline County. I mean, it's Dude. like the same thing as like me. It's like the same thing as me going to like Club Envy on a Saturday night. You know, like I'm not where I would like. You, well, you I, I saw a bear. Well, they were here first. I saw a bear on a bike mm, ride once will. when I was riding kind of near Pinnacle. Really? Yeah, I saw yeah. I saw a cub last last summer. Someone saw <laughs> one like wet in West Little Rock on a on a security camera in, in like a, a building like at, like Chanel and Twelfth Street. I would love to kill a bear. Yeah, I would love. I would love. I would love to kill a bear with my bare hands. Yeah, yeah. you can bow hunt bears. I, I in would not. Yeah, which. Would, pretty masculine thing you wouldn't to want to kill a bear no i'd like to keep it as a pet <clears throat> i mean that'd be cool too but you know mm, I, why wouldn't you, you want to kill a bear i feel I'd like to kill a bear. That time, i feel like uh, i'd have a good lap bear tim and know? i have a good story about black bears uh we oh, were yeah, we were yeah. on the trail we were on the wachita trail we were on the is this a gay trail? story <laughs> yeah we <laughs> were we were gonna, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is one we of my a long and lonely trail my family heard this story years ago and they uh did the appropriate math <clears throat> oh yeah, right. that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, we were hiking uh, on the Washita Trail. Separate tents. Yeah. Separate tents, and uh, we saw a black bear run away from us. Mm -hmm. and so we started singing uh, on top of Old Smokey to scare him off. And yeah, that's what they tell you to do. Uh, Game yep. and fish. If you ever see a bear, <laughs> Sing start a singing song. at it. Yeah. Uh, Actually, that is that is what, <laughs> that is what they do. tell you to do. To sing at a bear. Just be yes. loud. You can talk loud. You don't have to sing. It's it just kind of fun to sing. It doesn't hate melodies. I yeah. mean, it's just like, <laughs> yeah. you know, whatever. It's not atonal or Yeah, anything. whatever you're saying, just say it loud so it runs. Because they don't want to fuck you up. <laughs> they don't. They really They're really not don't. interested. Black bears don't, but don't brown bears. They're also aren't not they interested. more temperamental? Really, really no bears do. Yeah. Bla actually, black bears are more temperamental than brown bears. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you guys are talking about. Bears are bears are just Dicks. merciless killing machines. No, no, they're definitely not. I I've seen about seven or eight bears in the wild, and they all just brag. Run. No, I'm just saying they all run from you. They're not. I mean, most uh, yeah. most brown bears are actually vegetarians. They don't even eat meat. I've seen enough videos of guys hunting and bears charging them. So well, that, I mean, that why would you say, hey, you hold see, on, but no one's sending videos of bears running from them. Who cares about that? It's yeah. not interesting. Yeah, you see that documentary? So you're gonna see the videos of them running. Grizzly them. man? No, it was with Leo DiCaprio and he. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> there was the that, that bear was not a vegetarian. Which no. actually, you know, Grizzly man is actually a pretty good story because he hung out with a whole clan of bears for most, like, for several summers in a row. And with no incident, and it was one bear who had a history of violence. Why put yourself in that position? Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, that's saying, what it, like, look, it's look, the look. stupidest no, fucking no, thing. You look, can, no, I know. You need to stop right now because that bear. Everybody knows he just got through a divorce and he was heavy, heavy on the booze. Okay, <laughs> he was drinking a lot and he went he down a there. There was a salmon violence. shortage. <laughs> Yeah, and he was just not Lauren, having it that night. Lauren, if you want to watch, just come on in here. You don't have yeah, to sign on Facebook. It's fine. But that, that she's got to know when to play the Beach Boy music. That bear, everybody knows. <laughs> everybody knows he had a drinking problem, and he was like just really. Nope. I don't know. Tired of this outsider. Yeah. Right? What sleeping, happened? Sleeping what? with my wife. No, not only <laughs> I'm tired of this. <laughs> I'm tired with did, this guy uh, with a list. Not only did we see a black bear on the trail, though, Tim. Uh, when we had to get off the trail, we hiked mm. into the nearest house. And you remember that dude was telling us he had a he has a black bear that comes up on his porch and he feeds it marshmallows. You Wait, remember oh, that part on, of the story? On, hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah, because we hiked up to a random house because you were about to die. Yeah, and I was dying. We were like, oh, can you please just get us back to town? 
Yeah, and he was fine with it, but yeah. like, uh, but he didn't. On the way back into town, he tell us that is the beginning about, of an Eli Roth movie, yes. right there. That's what the, if That's you the guys beginning showed of deliverance. up. On, I know if you guys showed up at my house and you were like, "We just need to get into town," and be like, "All right, keep on walking, go on, get the fuck on." That's how Ned Beatty got butt fucked. Yeah, exactly. Well, we were about eighty-five yeah. miles into our trip, and Tyler just had a knee injury yeah. flare up, and uh, it, was it was cold bad. and rainy and wet, and we were. You know, miserable, and he was just like, "I can't do it anymore." Tyler was like, "My knees hurt," and watch Tim it, was Tyler? like, "Let me suck out the poison." Yeah, here, here in Arkansas, was it true? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I thought watch, first... watch that trail goes from Oklahoma to Pinnacle. It's yeah, 100, really, yeah. hundred and thirty yeah. miles. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. it was so just we, like we a did a, trail. We did a good know. chunk of it, and it just didn't go great, so uh, we got off. Well, I enjoyed happens. the time that we did. Yeah, it was but... great. It was a good time, but I'm saying like real bonding experience. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, didn't, it didn't go great in the sense that we couldn't finish. Feel like I've yeah. seen this Physi- before. Physically, no, no. <laughs> physically, I just couldn't finish. Heath Ledger. There was like a yeah. There was another movie. Yeah, uh, I was having. I was having Toby problems McGuire finishing. or Jake Gyllenhaal. And he, I can't yeah. quit you, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler quit that trail though, like a bitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. This is true. He, there were literal tears coming down I his cried. face. I Did you, it was yeah, that I bad. I was, it was, I was so I was so much in pain and upset that we couldn't finish. That yeah, I, I was cried. sitting there like, yeah. oh, I get it. God damn it, another pussy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. I'm just kidding, Tyler. It was harder than what we were going for. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I went Tim exploited no, Tyler's what's funny, weakness. We had plans to watch <laughs> a damn good weakness pies. in a moment of yeah, strength we in the were, tent. So we were we'd been thinking about pizza for a week already. <laughs> we've been, yeah. I tell you, it wasn't a great time of year to, to hike because it was yeah. like thunderstorms. It was a it was tur- this time the, of year. The, the, ten, the tornado that came through and crushed Valonia one of those times. <laughs> Which time? Yeah, one of those times. <laughs> uh, actually, God hates actually, Valonia. We, yeah. were, <laughs> we were hiking in it on top of a ridge for like yes. six miles. And every yes, time true. a lightning bolt would crash, I would go, shit, <laughs> I'd cuss. And I was a little behind Tyler and he would look back and check on me. And then I kind of got used to it. So one time I didn't cuss and he thought I died. I, 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 yeah, I was like, I was like counting on him to cuss to assure me that he didn't get electrocuted. Yeah. And when he didn't say it, then I was like, oh, fuck. And so I like, looked back and I was like, yeah. but then we, we ended up at Queen Wilhelmina Lodge in uh, me. Was it me? Why yeah, didn't you just stay at the yeah. lodge? Then? Well, we did for like a day and our shit was all soaked. And we had oh my a God, we went to this story. dinner and just had the biggest buffet of like oh country fried steak and gravy and potatoes. Oh, man. And all. It was so fucking. And the electricity <laughs> was even out. <laughs> there at the hotel for a little while, yeah, and then it finally came back on, and we watched uh, some Restrepo. military movie, Restrepo. Yep. Uh, while our good. clothes dried, the opera. No, no, no. It's a <laughs> right. the guy, there's a an investigative journalist that did a documentary, and he went out in Afghanistan. He died like right after filming it. Oh, is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> he, they re- he's revi- in a better place. Now. They revived him. He's in the good place now. Oh, okay. it's good. But uh, anyways, uh, it was a good trip, and um, yep. Tyler didn't make it, but we're all good. Oh my God. Well, we we both haven't made it yet. We need to finish it, I guess. I know. I, Man, you guys are bitches. I went to Universal Studio two years ago, and we were walking 10 miles a day, so. Yeah, you go to Cedar Point, you walk like 20. Yeah, exactly. That's Get fair. over it. That's fair. Yeah. <sighs> it's totally legitimate. Yeah. Comparison. I, I know. I always paused at that trip at the mini corn dog stand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh well you know um <laughs> whatever I, I I don't know what to say like it was a good trip I I'd, I'd be interested in finishing it, sounds, it out it but... sounds miserable but you guys are like no I dude I I hiked a thousand miles of the Appalachian Trail or yeah. eleven hundred even it's not miserable it becomes like a way of life you just start to do it yeah. you go and you get it it was I wasn't miserable uh, like emotionally except for that my I was physically pained yeah like, I was having a good time actually we were, I was and even the the tornado and everything. I was like, this yeah. is cool. That night when that, that night when it was really coming down and we I had my hammock. I was sleeping in a hammock and it was the wind was blowing so hard I was just swaying. It rocked me to sleep like a baby. It was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, you're, about it, put, it was, you're about to put me to sleep like Mark, a baby. It was raining so hard that I didn't want to get out of my tent to pee in the middle of the night. So he just I, peed I, himself. I just, I just peed right beside my tent. Just kind of like laid on my side and peed on the ground outside my yeah. tent. Yeah. The good you thing about what you do. the it good thing great. about my hammock is it has. <laughs> you, you guys were pitching tents together. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my hammock has a it has a big slit on the bottom that you enter in exit uh, obviously. through. Obviously, and it looks like a giant <laughs> vagina. So I hung my dick out of the vagina and peed right out of it. Okay. It was awesome. <laughs> hey, Mark, you want to not go on a long hike together? I would love to, Nick. Thank you. When do you not want to do this? 
Yeah. Next Your year. schedule's full. Okay. Hey, yeah. y- you won't. <laughs> I, 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 bet wanted, you I bet you won't not go on a hike together. I've wanted to. I've wanted to go on. Let a hike. Let me think about that hike. for a while, and I'll figure out my response. I've wanted to go on a long hike before, but it, it's like <laughs> I I can't justify taking the time off of work to just go yeah. meander no. through the fucking woods like, ser- for a week. Seriously, you know? the, yeah, the Appalachian I Trail. I, the Appalachian Trail. Yeah. I had to like plan and save for like six months, and I was able to do half of it because I ran. How much of cash yeah. did it? Did it cost? I had fourteen grand saved, motherfucker. But I had my house, I had my student loans, my car, all that shit. Oh, so okay, okay. About three months in, that shit was just dried up because I was spent. When I yeah. come to town, I'd go get beers and food and all that shit. Yeah, so I'm just, sure it adds up quick. Yeah, it adds up very quick. And then I didn't leave when I was broke. I left when I was like soon to be broke. So I had like three grand left. So I was like, fuck it, I got to get home. This isn't sustainable. It's true. Three yeah. grand is one plane. No, ticket. that wouldn't. That would have not have got me. Where I needed to go. You know what you should have done? You should have just started killing hikers and robbing houses. <laughs> Actually, like, we, yeah, just, we, we just missed Oh, a, no. No, we just missed a murderer. We actually think me and Josiah, the guy was is that the one up in New England? No. Because I heard no, about that he was guy. in Virginia. He was we, British, Virginia. British yeah. fella, right? We thought we saw him. We, really? We really think we saw him at a, because this guy had like a. A backpack made out of PVC pipes. Yeah. Which most guys up there have normal backpacks. Yeah. And he had his dog with him. And when we found out that Chris Hansen did like a whole thing on it. Yeah. And uh, when we saw that thing, it was the same year we were on the trail, same area. Um, we They described him and we we're like, holy shit, that was the guy. But oh we, didn't, my God. we didn't stay with him. We hiked. Like we stopped at that shelter. He was sleeping. We just kept going. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we probably saw the killer. So how many people did he kill? Well, this so he killed people in the, like the the nineties. Yeah. Went to prison, got out, and he went right back. And yep. he tried to kill these people while we were out there. Shot them. Yeah. Shot them. They survived, and they caught him. But, did you Did you hear what he oh, had shit. on him? No. He had a bunch of like random pairs of glasses and random like yeah. watches and stuff. Well, satanic and stuff. It's, it's so, funny. Like, these are my treasures. Actually, this was in Virginia because I remember we were in Damascus, Virginia, and somebody was warning us like, hey. Just so you know, there's this guy. He might have killed some people. He did some time. He's out. He's literally on the same trail you're on. Yeah, yeah. But you should like, be all right. They're like, he's got a dog. Give he's, him a cliff bar. You'll be all right. The, the, the guy told us. <laughs> no, the guy told us. He's like, yeah, he's on house arrest, and he might be out there. If you see a guy with a dog, it's probably him. Uh, just keep going. And it um, turns out that was the guy, and we saw him. You it, should have preemptively killed him. Right? No one would miss hey, him. Hey, yeah. buddy That's from uh, Death Metal Dicks is watching. Maybe you guys could do an episode or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, um, you know. I heard another story about a guy, a similar situation, a guy who, who killed someone, and then he went. It, he didn't kill someone on the trail, but he ended up, he killed someone, killed his wife or something like that, Um, you know, in, like, Ohio or something like that, and then went and moved to a known, like, hiking village like where people would stop and yeah. he would live out on the trail and yeah, people for a while, there, there for are years, years. it no, was like yeah a there long time. are a lot of people like that we met some people this guy hobo dave we called him yeah and he was on the run from the law and just living on the trail because how you're off the grid i mean there's, yeah you stop in a town but like you just give a fake name yeah everyone has a trail name yeah that's what i yeah that's what they were saying on that uh I think it was Dateline or something that I was watching. They were saying the same thing. They ended up... I, I can't remember how the Ameri- cops ended up at that town, but like they they had a description. They were like, oh, that sounds like Scooter or whatever. You know, it was yeah. something like that. And it was a guy who every every few weeks or months, he would just show up in town for a couple of days Reload. and then he'd go, yep. he'd go back out on the trail. And Did, didn't just, they catch him? There was some life. sort of like trail like once a year there was some sort of trail event and they knew that yes tra- yeah, yeah yeah i think it was it's american called tra- greed it's called trail days in damascus virginia yeah he he killed his wife and i Damn. think his, yeah. maybe his family i don't remember yeah yeah but yeah he he just lived off the appalachian trail and they can never catch him because yeah, they, yeah. they ended up wacky. getting him at some point yeah at that event they yeah. will because people talk man like it's it's gonna happen and yeah hey my name is nick Totally killed my family, but I'm gonna yeah. move on. You What's know? your trail name? Wife murderer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I almost feel Killer like Nick. I almost K-I-L-L-A. feel like L O A. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you do? Do you rap? Yeah. <laughs> I rap not, bodies. Not very good though. I rap bodies up. <laughs> um, I don't take criticism well, so if you don't like this song, <laughs> see, I, I, there's that, a lot of that words. Always, that always blows my mind how killers can get caught once you go off the grid. Because if you did that and you went and lived on the trail. 
why not just like stay in a town for maybe a month, then move on to the next one? You've got how many miles of trail total? 2,200, something like that. 2,300, something like that. Appalachian Trail is... The, well over two thousand. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's like twenty one twenty one seventy six when I did it. So why not just now. why not just follow the weather and I mean you just could go back and forth. You up could and kill down. as much as you wanted to. Or just you know, be a, like, be a homeless guy. Yeah, no one knows who they are. Yeah, That's a good point. Well, I think being on the trail has some certain camaraderie and people are more likely to share things with you, and it's a little bit. Yeah, there's a, a story. Community. Yeah, there's we a story we need to. to yeah, there's a story we need to look up. Um, this guy didn't kill someone, but I remember reading about this a few years ago. It was one of the few times, documented times, where they actually found a hermit, like by the by by like the, you know, whoever makes the definition of that, but like a right. man who really is like completely off the grid, like disappeared but didn't die, and it was somewhere. I want to say it was somewhere up in Maine, maybe, but he was living in the woods. And he was living in this like this area of the woods where people had walked by before, but he had found this little nook where the rocks like opened up, and he was uh, nearby a camp. And he had been out there for a couple decades, I think. And he would just wow. randomly go to that camp and steal food. But he just he went off the grid when like he lost his he didn't lose his mind, but he just was like so antisocial. Sharper than ever, I would say. Left his uh left his family and moved out into the woods and then he got caught stealing and they were God like we thought this guy was dead and he's been out here in the woods like one of the few documented cases of an actual hermit that was, you know, completely living off the grid. It was kinda creepy, but interesting right. story. <clears throat> I love oh, it. Oh shit, we've done it. Yeah, oh, yeah, we have. That went by quick. Mm. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Good times. All right. Uh, well, thanks, everyone, for listening. I would implore you to listen to local magazine, Sookie, and <laughs> check out Death Metal Dicks. <laughs> <laughs> and local magazine. What is that? Wait, what was they that They talk thing? about true crime what was and the true thing blood. The, the vampires would do. It was called, like, gazing or... G-A-Y-Z-I-N-G. Ga- or G- what was, the, oh, oh, was, what gazing, was that? Or... No, no, they would do... They had, like, a hypnosis sort of thing. What the fuck was that? It was, like, romancing or you try, something. Oh, it, and it was charmed. It's not, not no, charmed. No, no. But the, no. that was the, the whole hey, thing. Hey, our listeners, what uh, was it called? Be- bedazzling. It was no. the thing. Yeah, it was the... Ah! Ah! The Sugarloaf Strangler is what Roger said. The um, no, what was the um? Because uh, I remember in the first episode or so, the Anna Paquin was like, "Are you trying to? Are you trying to gaze me or so?" It wasn't gazing, but it was like she was uh, Fuck, she always I so know what you're talking about sassy and salty and she's so sassy. sassy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there was like the bartender in that bar where, and fat. where if you did that thing, they forgot everything. Yeah, exactly. Like, that. like you, David Blaine. Do you find it? Find it before we end uh, this episode. Yeah. We need to True we need Blood, to True Blood, vampire True Blood, hypnotist. True Blood Vampire the, Rape. The vampire, the list of vampire traits in folklore and fiction on Wikipedia. Oh, is, no, not that. No, we need True Blood, that. Tyler. True Blood. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, oh, man, what do you do? We, we can't need another this walk episode. On, yeah, I know. We don't need another walk on the wild side with vampire <laughs> lore. Thank you. With vampire lore. Anna Paquin is mainly a vegetarian. Tyler, I implore you to look up glamour, to me. glamouring. Yay! There it is. Yay! You trying to gl- you trying to glamour me? Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> All of our listeners, I'm glamouring you right now to listen to local magazines radio show on like, Mondays. Share and, and subscribe. Download, like, share, and subscribe. Episodics of the <laughs> Is this the vampire Alex Jones? That's right, everybody. <laughs> We're gonna glamour you. <laughs> Turn the frogs into vampires. <laughs> Buy my supplements. The globalists are trying to glamour the entire population. Are, are, they're controlled by the Vampire Federation. <laughs> Turning the glamorous gay. They're in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Mm-hmm.